Ten Hag faces 25% pay cut if he stays at Man United. Can you really this? Eric Ten Hag will face a 25% pay cut as Manchester United manager next season if he holds on to his job in the wake of the failure to qualify for the Champions League, sources told ESPN. Ten Hag, who signed a three-year contract at Old Trafford after leaving his position as Ajax head coach in May 2022, is under mounting pressure at United, with the team in seventh position in the Premier League, 16 points adrift of a top-four spot, ahead of Wednesday's Old Trafford clash with bottom-placed Sheffield United. Although United secured a place in the FA Cup final for the second successive season by defeating championship side Coventry City on penalties last weekend, the manner of the team's progression, United surrender it a 3-0 lead by conceding three goals in the final 20 minutes at Wembley, has further intensified the scrutiny on Ten Hag. Sources told ESPN that United's new football regime, headed by minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe, have been exploring possible alternatives to Ten Hag by assessing the qualities of other managers, including England's Gareth Southgate, Brighton manager Roberto De Zerbi, Brentford's Thomas Frank and Wolves' Gary O'Neill. But despite the poor performances and exit from this season's Champions League at the group stage, sources told ESPN that United are still, at this stage, preparing for next season with Ten Hag as manager. Sources told ESPN that Ten Hag, 54, like the vast majority of his senior players, is on an incentivized contract at Old Trafford related to the team's performances. That failure to secure Champions League qualification would trigger a 25% cut in salary for the season in which the team does not participate in UEFA's premier competition. With Ten Hag earning $9 million a year as United manager, an absence from next season's Champions League would see his salary drop to $6.75 million and potentially open up the prospect of a less lucrative compensation package should a decision be made to dismiss him as manager with one year remaining on his contract this summer. With 18 points still to play for this season, United are not mathematically out of the race to finish in the top four and qualify for the Champions League U. But with Aston Villa 16 points clear of United and also boasting a significantly superior goal difference, a failure to win against Sheffield United on Wednesday would end United's faint Champions League hopes and confirm the 25% salary cut going into next season. Meanwhile, Manchester United's implosion against Coventry, before scraping into the FA Cup final on penalties, underlined the overhaul the squad must undergo. As many as 12 players could leave United this summer as Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his new football operations team set about reviving the fallen club. While financial fair play rules will limit United's spending power this summer, raising funds through player sales will provide more capital to rebuild the ailing squad, one that needs a major upgrade. Every position in the squad is under scrutiny with newly appointed technical director Jason Wilcox leading the overview ahead of the anticipated arrival of Dan Ashworth from Newcastle as United's new director of football. In defense, United could jettison up to four players, Aaron Juan Bissaka, Rafael Varane, Victor Lindelof, and Harry Maguire. Although the England centre-back has shown his enduring value in the enforced absence of so many of his teammates, in the same position. In midfield, United will look to offload Casemiro, who has looked a shadow of the player who played with such influence in his debut season, and Christian Eriksen. Sofian Amrabat, whose loan deal has been an unmitigated failure, will return to Fiorentina this summer. On the wings, it is a similar story. With United ready to cut their losses on 85 million flop Antony, while homegrown star Marcus Rashford will be sold for the right price, having lost his way spectacularly this term after last season's career best 30 goal haul. Jaden Sancho, exiled on loan to Borussia Dortmund for the remainder of the season after publicly questioning Ten Hag's authority and refusing to apologize, is also up for sale, while Anthony Marshall, remember him? is out of contract this summer and will slope out of Old Trafford after nine years of indolence and underachievement. 
The spine of United's team, including Andre Onana, Lisandro Martinez, Kobe Mainu, Bruno Fernandes, and Rasmus Hojlund, will all remain. While Luke Shaw, Diogo Dalot, Alejandro Garnacho, exciting young defender Willie Quambala, and Mason Mount, who has been a permanent fixture in the treatment room in his debut season, also have futures at the club. While United could realistically move on half of their squad this summer, it is unrealistic to bring in as many players, so there will be those who stay by default, with Ratcliffe having already reminded United fans of the patience required as he and his newly assembled football team set about addressing the carnage of the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era. Os, 5 million per season, is what the club has been working under. Through Sir Jim Ratcliffe's acquisition of a stake in the club, there is the potential that the next assessment period could allow for the upper threshold. In the event that Eric Ten Hag is sacked, there is a cost burden that must be borne during the accounting period in which it takes place. As a publicly traded company that produces quarterly reports to shareholders and is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, the impact of any such moves for United would be seen well in advance of the usual year it takes for normal accounts to be filed by UK companies. United's PSR position at the end of the 2022-23 accounting period saw them achieve a PSR profit of around $15 million. That was after significant allowable deductions through depreciation, amortization, women's football, community activities and youth development helped address the combined $205 million pre-tax loss. Also included was the £79 million for the impact of COVID across the average 2019-20 and 2020-21 seasons, as well as another £40 million pandemic impact for 2021-22. That means that United had some room for maneuvers, even at the lower threshold, when they headed into the 2023-24 accounting period. If they felt the need, they would have the financial ability for a payoff, and they would also have the option to aid their PSR position, were the ownership willing to provide secure funding to increase the threshold. It is likely a strategic decision related to football that would be impeding any call on the manager's future at Old Trafford, rather than concerns over the PSR position it would leave them with. Manager sackings will continue to be impactful with regards to financial controls when the Premier League moves over to a squad cost ratio in line with UEFA's from 2025 though. With relevant wages, players and manager, amortization costs, severance payments, and intermediary calculated against operating revenue and the best player trading profit year of the last three. Again and again.